What's up guys, Percocet Productions here today and we're going to be ranking every single Red Dead Redemption 2 character from worst to best. So basically the list is just the uh, main characters from the Vanderlyn gang. Yeah. It's basically just going to be like whoever you see around the camp. I'm Jason. And I'm Ethan. And let's get right into it. So we have 24 characters and my number 24 is Bill Williamson. I don't have much to say about Big Busty Bill, honestly. Um, I don't really like him. I might sound weird, but I didn't really play Red Dead Redemption 1 that much. I only played multiplayer, and um, I did not have a connection with Bill um, going into Red Dead Redemption 2. And he kind of just felt like he was there because he was in Red Dead Redemption 1. So I didn't really have much to say about I him. I disagree, but I can understand it. <laughs> For me, number 24... Had to be that rat bastard Micah Bell. Mm. Mm. Because he was a traitor. He was a snake. I hated him from the beginning. And I knew that he was going to do something shady. And lo and behold, he, he really did us in. Right okay. at the end, in that last mission, man, I, I took my sweet revenge on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had it coming. All right. Well, number 23 for me is Jack Marston. Hmm. I mean, Jack just doesn't really have a lot. Um, he doesn't really have a lot going for him. Uh, if you're looking at Red Dead 2, he's the innocence of the group, uh, which is really makes him kind of a unique and pure character. Um, but it's ultimately a tragedy because he ends up following the life that his dad did anyway. So um, I, I don't think he added much to the game. So a decent character. Don't really have any problems with him, but I just feel better about the other ones understandable my number 23 ranked character is gonna have to be tilly jackson i never really liked tilly i mean honestly it's been you know maybe two years since i played red dead i don't really remember i mean i know that she didn't really leave a mark on me and after you know doing a little research on her for the video i just i don't really like her a forgettable the, character for real in the perfect sense, she was a forgettable character. Well, 22 for me. Uh, Carrie and Duffy. Um, hmm. He was, of course, uh, part of the... What's the gang's name? Um, the, oh, I know who you're talking the about. The other gang. The Draskals. Driscolls. 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 That's what it was. He yeah. was a part of the Driscolls. Um, and, of course, he had to prove his way into the group. Honestly, we just kind of tortured him for the whole game. And then he was cool. And then he didn't really have much of a purpose after that. Um, I don't know how much we're going to get into spoilers here. Probably a lot, technically. Well, I already kind of spoiled the, the main ending. Oh, yeah, true, true. So, you know what? Screw it. Um, Carrie and Duffy, um, the way he died, uh, pretty sad death, though. I will say a very impactful death. The way that he was just let, let in on the horse without the head. That was really cool. Um, probably the most cool thing about his character. I, I agree with that. You know, that that was a rough thing to watch. You know, because at that point, you did start to like him. So my next one, which is going to be number 22, is Mary Beth Gaskill. I never really liked her either. I remember her, but I just never really liked her. Yeah. She was more annoying to me than anything. Wow. If I'm going to be 100% honest. Mm. Yeah, definitely a character that was a background character of the gang. Well, I will go with my number 21 as Molly O'Shea. Um, Molly. Oh, really? Number 21? Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually put her in the same spot. Number 21, Molly O'Shea. Um, She had this on and off thing with Dutch, which really didn't get like too much interesting. But she does get a little bit of points, I think, because um, she played a really integral point. Uh, a regular integral role at a really big point in the game um, with her like betraying the group in a way and you know what she did and what she who she ended up shooting um, which we'll get into later but um, overall really not a very meaningful character up until that point yeah I, I agree and honestly it is a little messed up because I think that she just said it I don't think she actually did give up the gang yeah so yeah it, it was kind of messed up you know but True. she she did get um she did get blasted pretty good yeah that was like the only thing i remember is she got lit up yeah she got put in the dirt 
He got put in the dirt. So that was 21 for both of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So number 20 for me is Josiah Trelawney. Um, number 20, he wasn't really a part of the gang. Uh, I mean, he was, but he wasn't, you know? He came and went as he wanted to. Yeah, which is why I think he gets a few points above because he was very unique to the group in a role. He played a big part in a lot of the missions, kind of leading you along. Uh, he made you get a haircut that one time, which uh, really he sucked if you were growing That's out your hair. <laughs> That's it. He just made you get a haircut. That was his role in the game. He made you get a haircut, <laughs> but um, he was a fancy man. Um, fancy yeah, he, his get-up was pretty, it's pretty neat. I'll admit that. Yeah, and he had a lot of swagger to him, a lot of... Uh, yeah charisma charisma and that's where i put him well for my number 20 i had to put leopold strauss because if it weren't for him arthur would have never got sick True. that's the way i see it he sent arthur to go and collect money from the one dude that had tuberculosis and yeah so i i just honestly feel like strauss is the whole reason that arthur dies yeah and it it really rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, that's fair. Um, he's a very slimy, conniving, uh, money based man with not a lot else yeah. going on. His only really redeeming quality is that he did get caught and he died in custody, but he didn't give up anything about the gang. He that's knew, true. Like, all their secrets, and he didn't say a word. That's, that's like true. His one redeeming quality, I would say. And you would have thought he would have. Would have just folded like nothing. Yeah. So that was your 20, right? Yes. So number 19 for me is actually Tilly Jackson. Um, I don't remember much about her from the group, but I do know that she was a good presence in the group, and she really um, was, uh, I'm pretty sure, the crush of Lenny. Um, mm -hmm. And they were going to get together, but that never happened. Um and I, she was a background character, really didn't do much, um, didn't know how to really rank her, but I never felt any way towards her, negatively. Mm -hmm. Again, a true background character. Yeah, yeah, the most background character for the group. Okay. Um, but I thought she was pure enough, so that's where I put her. For me, number, what are we on, 19? Yeah. For me, number 19, I did Jack Marston. Okay. He wasn't one of my least favorite characters, because... You know, he, he was a kid. But, again, he didn't really do anything. All he was yeah. was really a burden to Abigail and John. Yeah. yeah. So, I just never... And, plus, you know, at the end of Red Dead 1, you play as him when John dies, and I just never liked him from there. So, it kind of carried over. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I did like his purity, though. The group needed purity. Yeah, yeah I can see that. I mean, he, he was... It was cool to go fishing with him. Yeah, you know? yeah, that, yeah, that scene was great. That, that yeah. was cool. Yeah. Well, number 18 for me is Micah Bell. Um, mm, you're, <laughs> uh, well, no. Well, hey, hey, hey. I, I hate Micah. I will say I hate Micah, but every game needs a villain who is the guy you hate. You need a guy to hate. Yeah. You need a guy to hate, and Micah is the the only real person in the gang that you could hate um, as a yeah, villain. He played a role, and you hate him for it. And you, uh, um, Rockstar designed this in such a way that you would hate him so much, and you know they did this on purpose. They they gave him no redeeming qualities, no, no redeeming. He was an asshole. Yeah through the end and so i have to give him points based on that i mean he played a major role in the story of turning the group crazy and um true and he was a rat yeah yeah a true a true rat and was only interested in himself right right okay so for me number 18 was actually josiah trelawney yeah i i i put him a little bit higher just because he is like a a driving force in some of the missions with you you know he does he he does come along and he does his part with some of the missions well, and yeah he comes and goes but he is still a part of the gang. Yeah, 
and everybody that in the gang seems to like respect him i honestly didn't remember him much like um while i was making this list like well, no because he wasn't really like prevalent a lot of yeah people. like he, he did show up in a lot of like missions that you do but in the grand scheme of it he's not around much well number 17 for me is reverend swanson um i like swanson i like that he turned around and got out of it at the end um mm -hmm. i like that he sobered up but i just feel like there were other characters that were more meaningful um i did like the drunken mission where you have to get him and save him from the train um oh yeah 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 that was Ma a good one very very few characters in red dead like um have to go through like redemption he was one of them that kind of went through redemption and saved himself in the end right so that was cool. usually you just light people up with an ak and yeah rock star games and that's it yeah yeah percussions. actually yeah okay i can see that number 17 for me was kieran duffy oh okay I, mean, he, I i did like him a little bit more than some of the others i i actually was starting to like him and then you know he got his noggin knocked off yeah and honestly it is a shame because like it really did seem like everybody was actually starting to come around to him and he really was kind of just played by the driscolls yeah but you know what are you gonna do just when you were starting to like him you know he just gets cut yeah. off yeah yep. and you know it, it really makes arthur go through some turmoil because he thinks like like at one point duffy saved his life yeah from one of the driscolls and then here arthur couldn't do it for him you know number 16 for me controversial maybe javier escuela oh, um okay. Javier in Red Dead Redemption 2 just felt like a character who was in the first one that they had to include in the second one. I don't understand that. He really didn't have a major role in a lot of missions. He was just kind of like a tag along. Mm -hmm. um, and he looked cool. Really good actor. Really good in the first game, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. um, didn't really do much for me in Red Dead 2. Especially because you already know knew his fate and didn't do much yeah, that's, for me that's the one problem with prequels is you you already know how it goes yeah i didn't know that though i didn't i didn't play red dead one so luckily right right i got the whole experience of them so number 16 for me i said susan grimshaw which hmm. was the air quotes teacher of the group she was like the i i guess i would say she was like the mother of the group mm -hmm. you know she she basically kept everyone in line I mean, I did like her, but I also think that she wasn't really like a driving force in any of the story too much. Mm. But she, I think she was definitely better than most of the others that were under her. And really what made me rank her so high, I think, is when she blasted yeah. fucking Molly. That was great. For being a, for being a snitch, like... Like, she really was willing to do anything for the gang. Yeah, she held it down. Even though it was wrong, but, I mean, that they don't know that, you know? Yeah. She true. literally said, like, she went and told them, even though she was drunk. Yeah. So, kind of had it coming. Yeah. What were you, top 15, though? Uh, Yeah, this is 15. All right, number 15 for me is the drunk Karen Jones. Um, Okay. I did not really have that much of a um, connection to her. I thought she was just like an alcoholic who had a lot of problems and was just really tagging along the group. Um, but she was cool in some parts, but she had so many things wrong with her that like, I mean, even at the end, uh, towards the epilogue, they say you don't even see her death. They just think that she drunk herself to death and died. Yeah. Um, not really a good ending for her. Didn't really do much. Still decent, though, but she had a lot of, like, things that held her down and didn't really, like, push her forward. All right, so for my number 15, I actually did Orville Swanson or Reverend Swanson. Yeah, okay. Makes I, sense. I agree with what you said. You know, I did, like, his, like, redemption arc, and it was funny to kind of watch him slowly lose his mind and then to be redeemed and come back. Yeah, yeah. It was nice to see, and it's actually crazy because, like, as you went through the game, you could really see it just getting worse and worse and worse. It was kind of crazy how linear it was. Super linear. Um, yeah. One of the only characters who got that kind of story. Out of all of them, yeah. I mean, I, I think the only one that got more of it, like, as a side character, was probably Dutch. 
Yeah. But, I mean, he's also, like, one of the main, main characters. Yeah. Swanson was just kind of like a, a side. side. Yeah, yeah. Good character, though. Yeah. Integral for the group. Number 14 for me is Sean McGuire. Mm. I, I, the only reason why I don't put him higher, and I can understand if someone were to put him higher, is because I feel like Sean um, did not get enough screen time as he should have, which is just, you know, he just died. There's nothing else, you know, there's no... He just died, yeah. you know? There's nothing else you could do there. But he was a great character when he was around. I would have loved to have seen what he would have done later on in, like, the... the if he survived. Because um, he was really, like, a heart and soul type of the group. Like, the comedy guy, the funny guy. Um, and his death was so unexpected. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Like, like the it was just like a cutscene where you're just standing there and his head just gets popped off. Yeah. It, it was actually kind of nuts. All right, so for number 14 for me, I did Simon Pearson. Oh, okay. I I liked him. You know, he, it was cool that he was kind of like the cook, but other than that, I mean, he wasn't really... No big stories. No. But um, actually, I have him at number 13, Um, so he's like right there for me too. Yeah. Um, he is the cook, which is really cool. Um, and he was just a nice guy in the group. Sometimes you just need the nice guys in the group. Mm -hmm. And I think for a guy who really didn't cause a lot of trouble, I'm very happy with his ending of him getting his own like restaurant or bar or whatever it was at the end. And um, I was happy with his conclusion. For me, at number 13, I had Karen Jones. Mm. I, I did like Karen a little bit. I mean, yeah, she was a drunk. But she always seemed to be like willing to hold her own, you know, and mm -hmm. she was willing to go the distance with the, uh, like with the conning and like, true, whatever, true. Yeah, you know, she really was like in it for the gang. Yeah, uh, number twelve for me. Um, that would be Mary Beth and Gaskell, um, Gaskill. Mary Beth. Um, I do like Mary Beth actually. I do like Mary Beth. Um, because. I like the whole running story of her like talking to you and then like you figure out if you're on the deer track or like the wolf track. Um, mm -hmm. If you're on the good track or the bad path. I like that about her. Um, that's kind of what made her memorable to me. But she really didn't have a single story like for herself. Mm -hmm. But um, she was still like pretty cool member of the group for me number 12 for me i did javier escuela yeah he he was a great character in red dead one yeah and i i did like him in red dead too but i just feel like you know like you said you know what happens you know that you have to kill him and i mean it, it does suck but i also feel like he didn't really get as much of a chance because he was already fleshed out in the first one you know there was no reason to really expose him anymore. So number 11 for me is actually Uncle. Um, mm. Maybe a bit low. Maybe a bit low for Uncle. Um, I got Lumbago is probably the best joke in Red Dead. <laughs> in Red Dead world. Um, yeah. I love that joke. I love, um, I love him being there while you're building the house as uh, John. Um, mm, yeah, that's just, just great. Watching. I think at this point, I would say, like, the characters are great from this point forward um, for me. Um, Uncle is a great character. Um, he really, I mean, he's just a comic character. So I get, I couldn't really feel good about putting him higher. Mm -hmm. But I do love Uncle. I got I got one more before I hit the good characters. Okay. Number 11 for me was Abigail Roberts. Okay, fair. Fair. Got I, that. I was not much of a fan of her. Really? But... She was, she was okay. She wasn't like, I just think it was kind of because she was like the nagging wife. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's why I didn't like her. Okay. Which I can understand, you know, she wants the best for her husband, but it's also like you're in a criminal gang with your husband and son. I don't really that's know what true. you expect. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. You're literally running from the law. The whole game yeah what do you expect to happen that's true number 10 is leopold strauss for me top 10 top 10 and i have yeah i have strauss um 
So, like Micah, um, I actually thought highly of Strauss because he is a villain that isn't a villain, you know? Right. And he's like um, the wolf in sheep's uh, flesh. And he's not even really an awful per Well, he is kind of awful, but he does have some redeeming qualities. He's a shade of gray. And yeah, yeah. Um, he's not like a he's like a neutral. Yeah. He's not like evil, but he's not like good. And he caused all of that to happen with Arthur. Um, and um, he wanted to collect his debts. And um, like he's just a very like snivelly kind of character in the group. And, um, I think his, like, lines bounce off really well with, like, Arthur's. Um, yeah. so I think the, the contrast of characters there make for good, like, entertainment. Number 10 for me, and this is a hot take, oh. I actually put Dutch Vanderland as number 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Really? I, uh, I think it's cool to watch Dutch kind of lose his mind as it, as it goes, but... Whoa. Honestly, it just turned into a joke for me cuz you know, I have a plan, we just need money. That that was just the whole reoccurring joke through the whole thing. And it doesn't matter how much money you give, there's never a plan. Oh yeah, yeah. Cuz you know, you literally had like the collection jar. I could have put, you know, 20 grand in there and it wouldn't have made a difference. Wow. So I just I was never much of a fan and you know i know how it goes in red dead one so it was kind of like i was waiting for like the the shit show to begin the whole game dang okay but, yeah but it, it, it might have spoiled it a little bit for me yeah you were waiting for like the implosion yeah okay that's fair that's a fair like you know you never really could trust dutch because of you know how things end mm -hmm. for you and i didn't know that going into it so right. I, I do get that, actually. It's a fair uh, um, assessment. Number nine for me is actually Abigail Roberts. Um, I put her a little bit higher um, because you did make a good point talking about how she was the like uh, nagging wife of the group. But I also feel for her. She reminds me a lot of like Skylar from Breaking Bad of Walter's husband or Walter's mm -hmm. wife um, in a bad situation. But I think she really holds like a good motherly figure to jack and um like keeps john on the right track when he wants to go to rogue um and also her and arthur seen a lot on the same page in red dead 2 where right, they were like yeah, yeah. yeah like where they were like john's such a blah 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 and like i like their back and forth how they like agreed on a lot of things they were gossiping yeah yeah and it was just fun um then talking bad about john a little bit just you know but that is my number nine my number nine is actually Sean McGuire. Okay. I I know he didn't get that long with Sean, but I loved him. I thought he was great. I it, Again, the whole reason he's even this low is just because there was no time. I mean, it, it sucks. Yeah. It was, was whack. I yeah. Mean, that, that really catches you off guard because he just gets popped. Dude, if he would have lasted, I mean, he could have easily have been like one of the top five characters oh, yeah, if he would have lasted. Um, just really unfortunate. Rockstar knows exactly how to pull at your heartstrings and knows they know how to play your feelings. They know how to make you hate who they want you to hate and love who they want you to love. And uh, Sean was one they wanted you to love so they could rip your heart out very fast. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I totally understand it. Number eight for me is Susan Grimshaw, actually. Um... I like Miss Grimshaw as that, yeah, mother motherly figure, the the matriarch of the group in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. And um, I liked her blasting Molly. I think she was like, in a lot of ways, tired of the BS of the group. And um, honestly, my favorite characters are the ones that really play off of Arthur well, and I think she did too because she was like, a lot of the time, she was like seeing through Dutch's like BS, um, and uh, following the group even though she knew that like things were going down. Um, and so that's why she gets number eight for me. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Number eight for me, I put Hosea, Hosea Matthews. I think it's Hosea. I can't remember how to pronounce it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hosea but, yeah, Matthews. Put him at, uh, number eight. He was a great, great character. You know, I did like him as like the father figure of the group. Yeah. Yeah. True. But, 
you know, I mean, it was like, I don't know. I feel like that there were better characters, at least in terms of, you know, how the, how the story went with them around. Mm. Like, it, it seems cool that, like, the stuff he did before, but it's, we're talking about, like, the group now, you know? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. All right. Well, number seven for me is Lenny. Lenny is um, a great character, fantastic character. The way he died is crazy. Um, uh, the drunk mission with Arthur is probably one of the most like memorable um, missions in the whole game. Like none were really better than that. Um, uh, most fun missions too. Honestly, he got along with Arthur like one of the best there was, and uh, his death was really like sad um because it was so like it was so uneventful of a death it was like whoa did he just die like they didn't highlight it or anything it just happened he just got right. shot on the rooftop and that was just it yeah yeah okay so number seven right yeah number seven for me was bill williamson whoa bill i liked bill my I least favorite funny. yeah i i thought bill was funny and, you know, in the beginning of the next game, you basically end up getting popped by him at first, and you have to come back and kill him and all this shit. But yeah, he, he was funny in the game. I did like him, and I thought he was, like, a good... He, he was a good character in the group. Like, he actually did have the group's best interests in mind. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like he was, like, intentionally trying to fuck everybody over and, you know. Yeah. For some reason, he was just super forgettable for me. I don't know why, but yeah, I just couldn't, like... I don't know, maybe just something didn't click. Maybe because I didn't know him in Red Dead 1. Um, but number six for me is Hosea. Hosea Matthews. Um, like you said, I liked him as, like, the father figure of the group. Kind of like the guy who's been doing the gang stuff for so long. And mm -hmm. I feel like when he died, that's when, like, the gang started to fall apart. Like when they pulled him outside the saloon or wherever they were and um or the bank i think it was i think they were robbing a bank and then they got like it all went up in flames um when he died that was insane and it felt like it set off the whole like unraveling of the story um and uh yeah that 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 mission with him and lenny dying at the same time brutal mission brutal mission yeah yeah it was it was a rough one Speaking of that mission, my number six is uh, Lenny. Yeah, makes makes sense. I, I I think the reason Lenny is so actually high for me is just because of the one mission where you get drunk with him. Yeah. The more, the more you play it, the weirder it gets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lenny, Lenny. It gets so weird to the point where Lenny is fucking Lenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. It, it, it gets so weird. It's but true. It was really entertaining. <laughs> Everybody's Lenny. Everybody's Lenny. And they're dancing and like, yeah. It's... It was it was a good it was a good mission. And Lenny was a good you know, good character. Yeah. He died yeah. the way he did. Alright, top five. We're in the, the final stretch. Number five for me is Sadie Adler. Um I love Sadie. She's a great character. Um the only one of the female characters who are really down and with the nitty and gritty. Um, yeah. She actually wasn't in Red Dead 1, right? She actually wasn't in Red Dead 1. Um, and uh, seeing her in Red Dead 2 was great because she got a good ending out of it. Like, especially a rewarding ending. A lot of characters didn't get that rewarding ending. Like Sean, like Lenny. Sadie got that ending. And towards the end... Um, she was like one of your main riders. Um, her and another character that I'm sure we'll get to soon. Um, they were like the last two there, last mm. two there. Sadie was a great character. Okay, I'm not far off of there. My number five is Charles Smith. Okay, yeah. Okay, I I did like Charles. I mean, he he was a good character. You know, I just feel like he wasn't like a top character for me. I mean, he was very good character, though. Like, he... It was cool how he was, like, Indian. I think he was the only Indian one of the group. Yeah, the only native. Yeah, And, group. like, it, it's crazy, because he actually, like... Like, the like the skills that he used and stuff, like the tracking and everything, it was cool. 
to see him do like his thing. Yeah, yeah, it was a unique like trait to them. Yeah. 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 You had other natives in, in the game like uh Rainfall and Eagles right. Eye, Eagles Fall, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was Rainfall Rain's Fall or Rain's Yeah. Either way. I know that they were names like that, but I just feel like Charles is definitely the most unique one and probably the best one. Yeah, yeah. So number four for me is um John Marshton. Okay. Number four, yes, that is it. I did not like playing with him in the epilogue. I was not really happy having to play with him for, like, if you continue playing, you have to play with him. Um, the mission where he, like, got his face, or uh, the the wolf story in the beginning, where he was, yeah. like, attacked by wolves on the, the, in, on the mountain, and finding him wasn't really that cool to me. I think he was just like, what are you doing out here, man? Um... And honestly, I think he caused a lot of trouble for the group. Um, a lot of trouble for the group. And he caused a lot of, like, bad things to happen. Um, uh, but honestly, his ending, his ending in Red Dead 1, I know his ending. It's pretty tragic, honestly. It's pretty tragic. It was rough to watch. Yeah. yeah it was very rough to watch. I just didn't have that attachment to him uh, from Red Dead 1 that, like, put him ahead of, like, other characters. And that's why he was number four. I did Sadie Adler. Yeah, apparently. I actually really like Sadie. I really like the mission to avenge Arthur and how she was like a driving force in it. Yeah, I thought she was a really good character. And honestly, the like it was crazy to see her transition from like the scared. Yeah, what was it housewife? I guess she was to like one of the Driscolls or something. Yeah, it was something like that, but. You basically rescue her and you expect her to just kind of go on her merry way and she wants to join and then she becomes this badass. If they made a game about her next, I would I would buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely developed into like like a great character. And it was she came in a little later into the group, you know, but um, yeah, she but added she really, so much. You really showed her worth early on, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like if she was there earlier in like that badass form that she would get to oh, yeah. maybe the group wouldn't have fallen apart especially yeah. during like the yeah. bank heist yeah. and stuff number three for me is actually charles smith um charles is like one of my favorite characters because he's just like that bro that arthur needed you know like you 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 never had to worry about like charles turning um his back on you you never had to worry about like anything Charles related. He would always go with you on missions. He would always do stuff with you. And him, Sadie, and John getting that revenge arc was just so satisfying. That was, that was huge. Yeah, really boosted them too. You know, really boosted them too, super high. Um, and yeah, it was just great to see him do like that tracking stuff too. Um, I remember like in the um, snowy area where we would do that tracking mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a lot of fun too. He was just a very he's like the the like um Swiss army knife of the group. The thing that held it together in a lot of ways. Yeah, he really did too. I can see that. And yeah, that's why he's my number 3. So okay. who's number 3 for you? Top 3. My number 3 had to be Uncle. Wow. <laughs> I, I actually I thought Uncle was hysterical. Yeah. yeah. He didn't do too much for the group, but he was the perfect comic relief for the group i i think he was funny as shit and you know he he was he was just so fucking <laughs> i got lumbago yeah that, that really is like the best quote of the whole fucking game fair enough i understand the the, the uh uncle love number two for me is actually dutch my man dutch my man dutch what can i say enough about dutch maybe it's because i didn't have the like um yeah, you know, again, I didn't have the the Red Dead One like stuff, so I didn't know his story ending, and I didn't know he would unravel. That's one thing I had no idea. Actually, fun fact, I had no clue that he would gonna what, that he was gonna unravel until I started to see it. You know, um, but honestly, I love Dutch. Uh, I don't know if I would classify him a villain. I don't know, but honestly, my favorite villain of the game, and just like uh, just the dude that just slowly unravels is just fantastic story. Um, always saying he has a plan, always saying that he has it figured out, and and that's what costs him in the end. Um, he looks so weird in Red Dead One. I like his look better in Red Dead Two. So 
you only have two characters left, and I know who they are, but I'm very oh, yeah. curious, very curious as to who you prefer. Well, number two for me had to be John Marston. Okay. I I I really like John, especially from like the first one and the second yeah. one. Yeah, he is a little bit of a pain in the ass, <laughs> but it's also cool to get that background of him. Because you know the the first one, you know he's just badass and you know he's like untouchable. But then in the second one, you really see like what he went through to get there. Yeah, true. You know, like he's actually shown as like a human, and he's shown that like he, you know, like the wolf attack showing how he got his face all tore up. That was cool. Yeah, true. I, I, it was cool to see that because you see the scar in Red Dead One, and you're like, uh, where did that? How did that happen? There's no insight to this. True. I guess that shows that there's like pros and cons to not having played the first one and having played the first one beforehand. Like mm -hmm. it shows how our two like um like point of views on it has like are different because of it. Um but yeah, you know, number one, Arthur Morgan, who else could it be, dog? Like Yeah, yeah, same here. The I mean, best dude. Arthur really was the best character of the group. You know, there there's no contest there. The best protagonist, maybe like I don't know if there's a protagonist that really like there's he's one of the best ever, like for sure. Yeah. Like, and honestly, it's like it's not even like it's not even the fact that like you can pick and choose what he does. Yeah, no matter what you do, he's still a great protagonist. Whether you yeah. see, like, no matter how you die, you know, like you you have the two options. I forget what they are right now, but I just know that no matter what happens, he's a great character, and it's crazy. Did you die honorably or, uh, like, bad? I think I died honorably. Okay, yeah, me too, me too. Um, yeah, dude, like, like, the most relatable character, like, a lot of the time, he's just, he's just tired. He's just, he just wants it all to be done. A lot of the time, he just wants to see his group make it through everything. He has his trust in these people, and I mean, goddamn, what a cowboy! And like, oh, dude, the heartbreakingness, like how heartbreaking it was to slowly like die as him. I mean, come and on, like dude. worst part is you just watch him get worse and worse, and like you can't do anything about it. Yeah, because at that point, tuberculosis basically was a death sentence. Yeah, like, there really was no helping it. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. It's crazy how like Rockstar like crazy what they did with this game and it wasn't like he just died by getting shot. Yeah. Which is cool. But it's nuts. Yeah, they added a very like real element to it. And yeah. I mean, his horse dying, I mean, oh man, that was that was brutal when like that your horse cool. dies and yeah. But anyway, guys, if you like that video, check out any of our other videos that are posted or not posted and uh let us know what your favorite character in red dead 2 was maybe it wasn't arthur and i will see you guys later if it's not arthur you're wrong drop a like and subscribe all right Adios. peace